guys, Tracy here. On this week's video, I want to talk about what we are going to do to try to battle these thrips. It's the first time I'm doing this, um, but I did read the instructions and I did check out a couple other videos, so I think this is going to work for us. What I was told by him was I needed to get the sticky traps. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these traps before. Um, this trap here is a blue trap. It's a sticky trap for thrips, leaf miner trap. And I do have some yellow ones for aphids, too, that I wanted to try. Um, so all this is is this comes apart, and you fold it up in a triangle, and it's got a little hole in it. Put a little zip tie through it or a little bread tie through it and tie it onto a string, and it kind of floats above your beds. The one thing I did find out is you do not want to put these on the ground. So that's number one. And for two, you want to put them at the plant level. So we're talking four to six inches off the ground. That's as high as you want to put these because you want to make sure if there are any thrips or anything in the soil, they see this blue and they jump to it. And then here in a couple days, we can kind of look at this and we can kind of see what kind of bugs we're grabbing. But so the one thing we're going to grab is we're going to grab sticky traps. And I grabbed a half a dozen of these. Um, I got some twine, just some plain old mason twine. Got a good pair of sharp scissors. And what I did was I took some of these old bamboo sticks. You guys um, probably are familiar with these. You can get these in any big box store or any hardware store. For um, You use them one or two seasons out in the sun. They get kind of brittle and they break and you want to throw them away. Don't throw them away. I save these things, put these in my barn. I cut these in half and I make about two and a half foot sticks. That way when I need to do little jobs like this, I could actually use them in my beds and then tie rope to them for, for items like this. So let's get started. This is a little close-up of this sticky trap right here. This is the one for thrips. If you notice in the background, we do have some yellow ones. Those are for aphids. Like I said earlier in the video, I bought both. It's way easier to overkill this than not have enough. So I wanted to make sure we had plenty of these traps out here. So I just wanted to kind of show you how we put these traps up. They come together like this. They are both sides. Once you pull them apart, it's very sticky on both sides. You can take a pair of scissors and cut them in half. That's how they come recommended is to cut them in half. That's what the nursery told me. And all we're going to do is they come with these little bread ties. All we are going to do is hang them here with this bread tie. Now you want to make sure they are at ground level or at plant level. So what I have done is I've got these strings tied up. Um, that string needs to go up just a little bit more. There you go. Now, what that does is, if you notice, that keeps that blue piece of paper probably about a finger's half inch. You can kind of wipe that off, too. That way, if the wind does blow, um, it doesn't touch the ground. We may go up just a little bit higher on that here in a second, but you just want to make sure um, that it does not touch the soil. And you can adjust this also with this bread tie. That's the cool thing about this. You can just untwist it, make it longer, make it shorter, like that, whatever you need to do. And there you go. And then uh, when I finish getting the rest of these tied up in this row, I'll show you exactly what everything looks like. All right, guys, we got a mixture of the blue and yellow cards spread out in this high tunnel. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna let these sit for the next two or three days. And then when the professor comes from K-State, we are going to look at these cards. We're gonna evaluate them. We're gonna see if there's any type of thrips or aphids that are still in this high tunnel, even though all of this produce has been out. That's why these things look like they're flourishing in this tunnel and the lettuce did not. But this is where we're going to end this week's video. We are going to pick up next week uh, when we do a little on-the-farm discussion with the doctor from K-State. Thanks, guys. Bye.